Hi everyone, my name is Sneha Mysore and I'm a Senior Partner Development Manager at AWS. Joining me in a little bit is Clevon Roberts, who's a Senior Partner Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, we will go over a high-level business and technical overview of the AWS Application Migration Service. AWS MGN provides you with a highly automated lift and shift solution that simplifies, expedites, and reduces the cost of migrating applications to AWS. For customers, it's straightforward to use a migrate and then modernize strategy, and AWS MGN can help with that. Start by migrating applications to AWS Cloud so you can begin taking advantage of cost savings, agility, resilience, and all the other benefits of the cloud. Why should you consider starting migration with Rehost? It's a fast, cost-effective approach with minimal disruption. Because no changes are necessary to applications, business processes, monitoring, or management interfaces, AWS MGN automates the process. Then you can modernize applications. This can be done gradually, so it reduces risks that can be associated with migration. When you have quickly moved applications to AWS, it's easier and faster to then access the full range of AWS services to modernize applications. It's easier to re-platform and refactor applications as needed once applications are already running in the cloud. So let's dive into the benefits of AWS MGN. One of the key benefits is flexibility. AWS MGN is designed for rapid, large-scale migrations with a very simple setup process that enables you to quickly begin replicating your source environment to AWS. You can migrate applications and databases from any source infrastructure that runs supported operating systems. This includes databases such as Oracle and SQL Server, mission-critical applications such as SAP, and homegrown applications. Application Migration Service supports most common Windows and Linux operating systems. Reliability is another key benefit. All of the data from your source servers is replicated to your AWS account, including machine state, operating system configuration, applications, databases, and files. Your workloads are kept up to date down to the second. Once your plan cutover window arrives, application migration service quickly converts and launches your servers on AWS, typically in minutes. Application migration service uses a secure replication mechanism for your environments. MGN is also highly automated. It uses the same process to migrate all your applications as long as your operating system version is supported. This means that a minimal skill set is required to operate the service. After the initial sync of your source service is complete, you can then conduct non-disruptive tests prior to the cutover to avoid surprises during the actual cutover window. You can conduct virtually unlimited number of tests. MGN also easily plugs into migration factories and cloud COEs. In summary, using application migration service for lift and shift migration helps you to quickly benefit from cost savings, productivity, resilience, and agility of AWS Cloud. After your applications are running on AWS, you can choose to modernize your applications by leveraging additional AWS services and capabilities. With that, I will turn it over to my colleague, Clevon Roberts, who will go over the technical architecture overview. Thank you, Sneha Mysore, for providing the business overview for the AWS MGN solution. My name is Clevon Roberts. I'm a partner solutions architect here at Amazon and today I'll be providing a high-level architectural diagram that illustrates how AWS NGN can deliver rapid and reliable migration with minimal business disruption. On the left side is the source environment, which can be any on-prem location, either phys physical or virtual, or any cloud-based environment. In this example, the customer has two machines with two disks on the top and three disks on the bottom. 
On the right side, you see the AWS account or region which the customer wants to migrate their service into. Implementation begins by installing the AWS replication agent on your source servers. This does not require reboot, nor does it impact system performance in any noticeable way. Upon installation, the agent does an authentication handshake against the application migration service API endpoint, which in turn provisions the staging environment. Once the agent is installed and the staging area is created, replication will begin and the data is transferred directly from your source servers to the replication server volumes. The replicated data is compressed and encrypted in transit and can be also encrypted using the EBS encryption. You, the customer, control the replication path and you may use connectivity options such as a VPN or AWS Direct Connect. AWS MGN keeps your source servers up to date on AWS using continuous asynchronous block level data replication. The staging area subnet includes lightweight Amazon EC2 instances that act as replication servers and low cost staging Amazon EBS volumes. Each source disk is mapped to a low cost EBS volume in the staging area subnet. The replication servers receive data from the agent running on your source servers and write this data to the staging EBS volumes. One replication server can handle multiple source servers replicating concurrently. There are no maintenance operations required for the customers to manage the staging area. Now that you have installed the agents, you can configure launch settings for your servers. The launch settings define where and how migrated instances are launched, including subnet, security groups, instance types, volume type, and tags. AWS NGN uses your defined launch settings to launch instances where you conduct non-disruptive tests or perform a cutover. Your launch settings determine where your instances are launched and how they will be provisioned. When you test or do a cutover of your instances, AWS NGN automatically converts your source servers to boot and run natively on AWS. The conversion process is typically minutes, regardless of the size of your server, and is executed on all of your selected servers in parallel. After confirming that your launch instances have been operating properly on AWS, you can decommission your source servers. You can then choose to modernize your applications by leveraging additional AWS services and capabilities. As a best practice, you do want to test the migration of your source servers to AWS prior to initiating a cutover in order to verify that your source servers function properly within the AWS environment. Thank you for joining us.